And it is with uh, a great distinction and honor that uh, we are able to welcome to the airwaves the new head football coach at uh, Southern Miss, Todd Munkin, who joins us this morning. Good morning, Coach. Good morning. Uh, first of all, we thank you so much for, uh, again, taking time to talk with us. I know you're a busy guy, and uh, you, you actually <laughs> told me before we went on the air, you said, hey, thanks for giving me a couple of extra minutes. Uh, believe me, uh, you've got bigger fish to fry than to talk to us. I, I know you're getting down to the nitty-gritty with the recruiter, uh, recruiting season and all that. So, uh, again, we appreciate your time here this morning, sir. Well, you're welcome. It's, it's an exciting time in Golden Eagle football. Uh, I, I was at the, uh, the the media news conference the other day when they introduced you, and I was unable to uh, uh, get to to, to uh, actually come up and, and introduce myself at that time. But it seemed like I don't know there was about a thousand other people who wanted to do that. But uh, I I'll take this time to uh, again welcome you to uh, to the Hattiesburg, Laurel, and South Mississippi area. And uh, uh, how 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 tough is it? At the, it kind of in the I won't say in the middle of the year, but you're in the middle of a holiday season and everything else to. To, to make the change of uh, moving from Stillwater to uh, to Hattiesburg, that's got to be kind of a, a a pretty traumatic thing, especially for the family. Well, unfortunately, it's uh, the business we've chosen, yeah. and um, when when jobs present themselves, um, you have no choice but to take a look at them. And and uh, this time of year is when when those are is difficult, uh, much more difficult uh, on your family because uh, for my wife. You, pick up and move and you get here and start and you're full speed ahead and your mind's really on recruiting and a staff and organizing things the way you want it and uh, really doing a great job for, for this university. And yet you just turn it over to your wife and she's got to pack everything up and sell the house. And, uh, you know, and really it's, uh, you, you've got to be very fortunate to have a, uh, a spouse that understands the business and, um, you know, is independent enough to uh, to do things and not be overwhelmed with uh, when these occur. Because, um, unfortunately, in my career, I've, uh, I've moved a lot, and uh, so it's uh, it, it, it's a tough time, but but an exciting time. Well, we welcome you to Hattiesburg, and we uh, trust that you and your wife and uh, our son will uh, uh, enjoy uh, uh, living here in our community. We uh, certainly uh, can uh, welcome you here uh, with open arms. And uh, let me ask you, uh, I know that you're in the process of uh, doing the recruiting thing as well, but uh, how, how about the coaching as, uh, assistant coaches? I know that seems to be uh, uh, amongst uh, the, the Golden Eagle Nation. Uh, I won't say a concern, not a concern per se, but uh, what a lot of folks are interested in. Uh, do you have any names that you can drop on us at this time on, on folks who, uh, who who you've either have added to the staff or are about to add to the staff, or is it still too early to say well <clears throat> we've already hired some I and mean, i think we'd like to kind of wait till we get the full staff and then release that um unless the university chooses to do that but we're in the process of uh putting together a great staff and um there's some guys that <clears throat> you know i knew when i took the job that i would have a great chance of hiring and now we're at the process of really putting the finishing touches on that staff and um I'm not going to rush it, and I'm going to make sure we get the right guys and we get the guys here that want to be here and are excited about being here and uh, as excited as I am to be here. And um, so we're not really at that point yet, and like I said, the biggest thing is making sure that we have uh, the decisions made by the time we go back on the road. Right now is a dead period, and you can't go out recruiting. So you're really doing a lot of office work and uh, you know, kind of planning for basically January 13th when you can get back out. That's really when... Um, we really need to have our staff in place. Well, let me ask you this, because I know that uh, not only you're working on the recruiting thing, you've got to uh, also evaluate the, uh, the the personnel that you have and, and the players and such. Uh, uh, is there uh, I, is that a process that's ongoing now, or are you trying to uh, do, again, the recruiting stuff first and then uh, worry about what you still uh, still have in the cupboard, as, as it were? Well, I think the number one thing you do is, is recruit your, your own players. Mm-hmm and get them excited. That's the number one thing we have to do, is get our players excited, because no matter who we bring in this class, we will win or lose, for the most part, based on the guys that are here. There will be guys who will contribute and be a part of it, but the reality is winning and losing will take place with the guys we have here. So it's recruiting them, it's getting them excited, it's evaluating them, and and, uh, and assessing moving personnel here or there, um, what we need to do to reach them, uh, what we need to do to 
to maximize their measurable skill set, what is it that's stopping them from being as good a player as they can be? And there's a number of factors that uh, that leads into that. So that's what we're trying to assess. Um, and, again, it's the same thing. If you ask um, people from a couple years ago, there's a number of these kids that have unbelievable talent and, um, you know, have not forgotten how to win. Uh, they just had a, uh, a small hiccup. And, if, you know, if you have some people that were here last year, obviously you get a different story. Mm-hmm. Um, so somewhere in there lies the middle. Um, but I can tell you we have enough. And um, we have enough to compete in every game we play. So that that will not be an issue. We'll put together a great class that, uh, that's the cornerstone of, of my start here as a head football coach. Uh, switching gears a little bit from uh, football to uh, uh, personal uh, issues, and, and, and this is we, we pride ourselves because we're, we're not a sports station, uh, although we do carry the Golden Eagles and we're the p- proud flagship and have been for the last dozen or so years. Uh, uh, but uh, we're, we're, hey, you know what? We're a bunch of guys that are just fans that like to have a lot of fun. And I actually have a, a unique tie in with you, and, and I'm not sure that you, you may have never done a radio interview with a former student. From Knox College, and yeah. I attended Knox a few years before you did. You know what's interesting? There's a gentleman named uh, uh, John Granado. You know John? I I do not. John John does a, a sports show morning out of Houston, mm-hmm. and I met him a few years ago being at Oklahoma State, and he is a Knox grad. So it's not very often that you, you fall upon that, and. Um, and it appears that, uh, I won't mention him, but we're going to end up hiring a guy that is a Knox grad. So, uh, uh, interesting side note. Yeah, I actually did play-by-play for the Fighting Siwash back in the uh, in the early 80s. So, I, I was there a few years before you, and uh, I know they're the Prairie Friar now, but uh, good times in Galesburg. That's a, that's, a, that's a nice little college community as well, isn't it? Well, I was very fortunate. Um, I was a coach's kid, and really... You know, school wasn't really on my wasn't a first agenda, and I ended up I ended up going there. And the greatest thing about uh, Knox was a small class size, and and forced me to really go to class and express my thoughts. And and you know, the Lord works in mysterious ways where you end up. And uh, it was an unbelievable experience. I wouldn't have traded for the world. I got great friendships uh, from there, and. Um, you know, I'm a very, very lucky guy. And uh, another little small thing, I actually had a, 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 I guess you'd call it a floor mate when I was a freshman on, in Conger Hall that uh, was from Wheaton, Illinois. So very, very small world. Wow. Yeah, the small yeah. world, isn't it, Coach? <laughs> uh, yeah, it sure is. Yeah, well, we got one last question for you, and we like to do a, what we call a get-to-know-coach question, completely uh, probably a question that you may never have received before. So I, I turn it over to one, one of my co-hosts here, Andy Webb, who, who will ask you a, a quick question here, and then we'll let you get back to your day, sir. All right, Coach, Great, it, thank you. In, the, uh, in the future, you know, it, if we're lucky enough to talk with you again, we'll give you another <laughs> one of these questions where it's not football-related, usually not sports-related. We just kind of throw a little something out there so we get to know you. And this okay. question, the question this week is, uh, we've had a little bit of fun with your name. Uh, you know, Munkin, it, we like the name Munkin, but uh, we kind of said Munson and, and, and that kind of thing. So our question is, what, uh, what are some of the nicknames that people have given you over the years? What, are, what is your nickname? What's your number one nickname? Well, uh, when I was a kid, when kids wanted to tease you, it was Munchkin and Pumpkin and Monkey. And, you know, I wouldn't say those were nicknames, but... Um, you know the people that really it's it's pretty simple. I mean, most people call me Monk. I mean, there's not really Monk. Monk. Yeah. anything more to it. It kind of really is pretty simple. So, um, you know, I mean, that that's really pretty pretty much it. Very so. very good, uh, Coach. If you don't mind it, we'll just call you Coach from here on out. Okay. There we go. That worked. <laughs> uh, Coach, again, congratulations on uh, getting the gig. And, uh, hey, you got the last laugh because I'm sure you're pulling down a lot more than uh, a lot of those guys who were calling you Munchkin back in the day. So, again, congratulations right. on the job. <laughs> and uh, thanks Thank for you. thanks for taking time with us here this morning. We look forward to uh, a, a long and prosperous association with uh, you all and your family and uh, the, uh, the coaching staff that you're about to bring in here to Southern Miss. Thank you again for your time this morning, sir. Appreciate it. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. That is uh, new Southern Miss head football coach Todd Munkin, who joins us this morning on the Morning Crew Radio Show.
Should we explain why how it came about that we had had, had Munson? Oh, we just uh, we're big fans of the film Kingpin. Yeah, and yeah. When you said Mon- Munkin, yeah, we acted like we misheard you and said Munson. <laughs> <laughs> Roy Munson coming to town. <laughs> so this new coach has gotten Munson out in the middle of nowhere. He's got his own theme song now for he us. He does. It's this one from ELO. Seven forty-six now.